Hi, in this session we are going to learn a hacker rank problem titled Caesar's Cipher. Now let's read the question and try to understand what we need to perform in this particular task. <coughs> Julius Caesar protected his confidential information by encrypting it using a cipher. Caesar's cipher shifts each letter by a number of letters. If the shift takes you past the end of the alphabet, just rotate back to the front of the alphabet. Right? Now for example, Assume that you have a string which has a character A and then if you are supposed to rotate or you can say shift by three positions, right? If you shift by three positions, right? These three things moves out and then you can just see after shifting three positions, you get this D out here, right? Okay. Now the same way for B, you can just observe after three positions, you get E, right? Okay. Uh, if the shift takes you past the end of the alphabet, just rotate back to the front of the alphabet, meaning like for example, if you have x, if you say x plus 3, right, x plus 1 is y, x plus 2 is z, and x plus 3 should take you back to this a, that is what it says, for x, okay, after 3 rotations should be back to a, for y, after 3 rotations should be back to b, and z, after 3 rotations should be back to c, right. Now, they are given a simple example out here, given the clear text, s equal to, there is a star man waiting in the sky, and the alphabet is written by 3. The encrypted string is W, K, H, U, H and all these remaining things. Now what you can observe in this is the input string can contain uppercase, it can contain lowercase, right? As well as it can also contain some special characters. Now the cipher only encrypts the letters. When I say letters, uppercase as well as lowercase alphabets, right? Symbols such as hyphen remain unencrypted. Now, your job is to complete the cipher, uh, see the cipher function in the editor. Okay, you should return the encrypted string, right? Okay. Now, let us try to see uh, what will be the input format. The input basically contains three lines. The first line contains an integer value, which represents the length of the unencrypted string. The second line contains the uh, unencrypted string. And the third line k basically represents the number of rotations to be performed for every character, right? Okay, a sample input is also given out here and then an output also is given out here. You can just observe that hyphen remains as it is, right? M by shifting by two positions is going to be changed to O because after two characters after M, we get O and Z after two positions, we get B. Is this fine? Okay. Let us try to uh, understand this in more detail. Okay. And then we'll try to get into the implementation. Fine. Now, uh, for a clearer understanding, I've placed all the alphabets, the lowercase as well as the uppercase, along with their ASCII values, right? Now, uh, let us try to take a simple input. Like, for example, let us say I'll try to take the input as something called as Mumbai, right? And then, let us say the rotations, what I want to do it is 8, 8, okay? Now, what we need to do it is we need to access character by character. First M, then U, then M, then B, A, I, this way right okay now whenever you access individual character first get to know what is the ascii value what is the ascii value of m the ascii value of m out here is 77 right so okay so i have 77 add up the value of k which is 8 here right 77 plus 8 will give me 85 right okay now what is the character corresponding to 85 it is u clear right now the same way, if you take up u, the ASCII value of u is 85, right, plus 8. Now this gives me 93. Now 93 is exceeding the range, right? Okay, it is not within that 65 to 90. Now, as we have seen that whenever it, okay, um, reaches the end, we should go in a circular fashion, like here, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the sixth one it should go to this seventh one it should go to this and then eighth one it should go to this right now i want to get okay 67 from this so if i want to get 67 from okay given 93 then you can just subtract by 26 you get 67 which is nothing but your c right i hope this is clear right you just okay shift by 26 now this one will be exactly the same as this because M, U, M, M is already done. Now the same way out here, B is 66, 66 plus 
8 will be 74 and the character corresponding to 74 is J, right? And for A, it is 65 plus 8 will be uh, 73 and for 73, it will be I and for I, it is uh, 73 plus 8, right? It will turn out to be 81, which is Q, right? So the final output to be given out here is this. So you have to use U, then C, then U, then J, then I and Q. This should be the output for this given input string, right? Now let's get into the implementation part of this, right? Here, uh, first I'm trying to read the uh, input from the user as the problem statement says that we need to first read uh, the number of uh, characters in a string then followed by the string followed by the number of rotations right now okay uh, after you read the input the next thing what we need to do it is we need to scan okay character by character so in order to scan character by character i would like to use a for loop wherein i would like to say character c okay yes now this is called as a for each loop of c plus plus 11 so it's going to access the first character then second character then third character one by one is going to access all the characters now first i need to verify if it is an alphabet or not if it is not an alphabet i should not do anything right okay alphabet right if it is not an alphabet right okay if it is not an alphabet it returns zero then in case it returns zero just print this okay alphabet as it is do nothing else in the sense in case if it is an alphabet please do remember this is if it is an alphabet if it is an alphabet right it could be uppercase or it could be lowercase okay now what should we do we need to perform okay plus k value out here now in order to perform plus k value i'll write c plus k i need to capture this into some other variable right i'd like to write character en en for encryption kind of thing right now after that there is always a possibility that i might cross the boundary of it like for example when you look into u okay when you perform that u plus 8 it uh, took me beyond 90 right it took me to 93 so in that case what i want to do is i want to do a rotation kind of thing for that purpose what i'll try to do it is i'll just say if okay the character whatever you had is uppercase which character remember you're trying to check out the original character c not the encrypted one right okay because the encrypted in, assume that after calculation if you see if it is 93 it is not an okay, alphabet at all right for that purpose i'm going to check out if the character is okay which is before encrypting it that is an uppercase and right after adding up the value of k the encrypted value if it is greater than 90 then i want to move it back so i'd like to write encrypted equal to encrypted minus 26 right this is in case if it is uppercase otherwise else if right i'd like to take up this information out here i'd like to copy paste this okay and here if i would like to check out if it is lower right and then if it is exceeding 122 then again i'd like to write the statement okay quite simple right once we perform this particular operation i'd like to print this right quite a simple one right guys now <clears throat> so we can basically uh, try to run this particular code and check out if this is working fine the length of the string let us say uh, 3 and then i like to give a simple string called as abc i'd like to perform three rotations and you can just observe we're getting def perfectly fine then i'd like to check out with the input string like whatever we try explained in the example like mumbai right and then i would like to perform eight rotations please do observe that especially for you okay it is coming back to c and everything is okay as per what we studied fine now i'd like to try the same thing with a lowercase alphabet right i'd like to write okay six characters m u m b a i right now i'd like to again try the same thing as this right everything is working fine guys okay now things looks to be simple now <clears throat> I'd like to take up uh, one character, okay, and it is lowercase z. I'd like to say that I'd like to uh, shift by 10. Now, it should give me the 10th character, right? Okay, now let us see. Is this the 10th character? No, this is not the 10th character. 
right please remember this is not the tenth character okay if you perform the rotation if you perform the rotation from z if okay one rotation should give you this a then b then c right this is my fifth six seven eight nine ten it should have given me one zero six but it is not giving me the required output right okay not a problem we'll just try to check out what is the problem out here and then we we'll try to and okay try to solve that so here i'd like to even print the ascii value out here which is an integer form and then i'd like to print the character by giving a small space and then right i'd like to run this particular program i'd like to give a simple z out here and then try to observe oh i was supposed to get the different value but i'm getting minus 124 the reason being when you uh, took this 122 plus 10 okay you got 132 right 132 cannot fit into a character signed character right so since it cannot fit into a signed character it turned out to be negative value then when you okay again my perform minus 26 it again retained as negative value so if you want to avoid the problem just try to say unsigned character just try to say unsigned character then it can represent even 132 please do observe here right here fine now the next thing is uh, the value of k can be anything from 0 to 100 that is what the problem statement has said but uh, if you perform 26 rotations it is equivalent to not performing any rotations so the okay you have to keep shifting anything between 0 to 25 anything more than okay 25 right like 26 comes back to 0 27 comes back to again 1 so okay again since it moves in circular fashion what i do, do out here is i just write k equal to k mod 26 so this will make sure the value of k is anything between 0 to 25 not more than that right now this one okay i can remove this because i have only used it for understanding purpose now in order to submit this i need to comment this part i need to comment this part and i need to comment this part so okay after commenting this part i'll take this particular code go to hacker rank and submit in hacker rank right so please make sure that you are using c plus plus 14 out here because c plus plus uh, 98 which is by default does not support this for each loop okay now i'd like to compile this particular program here right the sample test cases are passed so let me try to submit this right okay all your test cases are passed fine guys okay thank you